Jeff Moss here at Diverse Dimensions, and uh, we're in the lab today just doing a little bit of post-processing after a, a measurement session with a client here. And what I wanted to show today was just some, um, some things we can do in the reporting or the editing of a feature table for clarity in your reporting. And you see here I've got some CAD that shows this returnable dunnage that this client is manufacturing. And they had a few items that were dimensional output on here that we've reported out. So this model is already complete. Let me just double click on the report here. So yeah, here's our, our main uh, main first page of the reporting. And you can see in the column here, I've got a lot of other, other details here. Like I've got a couple balloon drawings that we put in and some dimensional output uh, from pictures. But this is what I wanted to show is I like to always have a feature table at the tail end of this report just to kind of give a summary or an overall quick view of the dimensional output. But sometimes the default on this um, on this header information up here doesn't quite tell the whole story for my client. So they've asked for a couple other things to show up in this feature table. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today is if we wanted to update this content right here, there's a couple ways we can do that. So down here in my, in my um, my model tree, you can see I've got a feature table that if I double click on it, it pulls up my table here. And what shows up here across the top of this header, you can see this edit contents. Once I click on him, left mouse button, I can change the title, the header, the columns or the lines. There's a lot of adjustability that happens here. So let's just do a title here just for fun. Instead of calling it a feature, let's just call this dimensional output feature table so that will show up there I'll say okay or close that one out but I wanted to show a couple things that you can do here with this um, with these details here back over here to this edit contents and if you go to the table header Notice what shows up. You've got a few other fields here, and we've got a few more because we've populated these. And if you need to have a little bit of extra help on how to create this kind of a table or this kind of a, um, a report, please reach out and we can, we can set up a, a little bit of training for you on that as well. But if I wanted to click a couple of these other options, say the date and time, I just click on that item and then I go back here to add it. And then let's say it was the device too. They want to keep an eye on what device was used. Maybe there's multiple devices used to capture the data. So let's also click and put that into there. This is nice too. You can take these and you can change their sequence by doing these as well. See how you can just move that up and down based on, on its position here in the, in the fields. So let's say OK or apply that and then OK. So that will show up right here under this. Okay, so let me just X out of that or close it, either one of those. Notice it doesn't automatically populate here um, in the feature table that I've already pulled into my report. So just simply click, hold, and drag that field or drag that feature table back, let go, and then it updates all of the content there that you have changed. So pretty simple and pretty powerful to show what you need to do inside of the feature table. And again, if you need a little extra help with your reporting, we would love to help out. So just reach out and we can set up a time to meet with you and uh, custom, custom make your, your reporting formats with you.